Pharmacology, Disorders of the CNS System. Now that we have reviewed basic concepts of neurotransmitters and their function, let's review common CNS disorders. Anxiety. Anxiety disorders are a group of conditions marked by pathological or extreme anxiety or dread. People with anxiety experience disturbances of mood, behavior, and most systems in the body, making them unable to continue with everyday activities. Many feel anxious most of the time for no apparent reason. Anxiety is different from fear. Fear is a person's response to an event or object. The psychiatric disorder of dis anxiety occurs when the intensity and duration of anxiety does not match the potential for harm or threat to the affected person. Anxiety can be expressed with physical symptoms or behaviorally. Signs and Symptoms of Anxiety Aches, pains, stomach aches, headaches, heart racing or pounding, trembling, sweating, difficulty concentrating, increased agitation, and crying. Treatment can include non-pharmacological interventions as well as medications. Non-pharmacological interventions to decrease anxiety include relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, exercise, psychotherapy, support groups, or cognitive behavioral therapy. Anti-anxiety medications can also be used to help both verbal and non-verbal clients feel a much-needed sense of peace. Depression. Depression is a frequent problem affecting up to 5% of the population. To be diagnosed with depression, five of the following symptoms must be present during the same two-week period and represent a change from previous functioning. The symptoms cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. The symptoms of depression cannot be due to effects of a substance or from bereavement. Signs and symptoms of depression. Depressed mood. Diminished interest. Weight loss when not dieting or weight gain. Insomnia or hypersomnia. Agitation. Fatigue or loss of energy. Feelings of worthlessness, inappropriate guilt, diminished ability to concentrate, recurrent thoughts of death, suicidal ideation, or suicide attempt. Treatment of depression may include medication, psychotherapy, cognitive therapy, electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, and group therapy. Patients who are depressed may not report symptoms unless specifically asked, and they may be suicidal. Using assessment techniques to gather information about the history of each patient's depression, support system, specific triggering events, psychosocial assessment, and risk for harm to self or others is imperative. Each patient's response to medication is unpredictable, and often medications will need to be adjusted based on reported symptoms. Bipolar. Bipolar affective disorder is marked by serious mood swings. Typically, patients experience extreme highs called mania or hypomania, alternating with extreme lows called depression. People feel normal only in the periods between the highs and the lows. For some people, the cycles occur so rapidly that they hardly ever feel a sense of control over their mood swings. 
Signs and symptoms of a manic episode include rapid speech, hyperactivity, reduced need for sleep, flight of ideas, grandiosity, poor judgment, aggression, hostility, risky sexual behavior, neglect of basic self-care, and decreased impulse control. Treatment for a patient diagnosed with bipolar may include medication, safety initiatives during acute mania, ECT, psychotherapy, and support groups. The severity of manic and depressive episodes varies for each patient. Assessing if a patient is a danger to others or themselves is the priority. People with bipolar may need assistance with impulse control during times when they are in a manic state. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia affects people from all walks of life and usually first appears between the ages of 15 and 30. Not everyone will experience the same symptoms, but many symptoms are common, such as withdrawing, hearing voices, talking to oneself, seeing things that are not there, neglecting personal hygiene, and showing low energy. Schizophrenia refers to a group of severe disabling psychiatric disorders marked by withdrawal from reality, illogical thinking, delusions such as fixed false beliefs that cannot be changed through reasoning, hallucinations, hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, or feeling touched by things that are not there, and flat affect a lack of observable expressions of emotions, monotone voice, expressionless face, and immobile body. The signs and symptoms of schizophrenia. There are three types of symptoms related to schizophrenia, positive, negative, and cognitive. Positive symptoms. Note that in this context, the word positive is not the same as good. Rather, positive symptoms are psychotic and demonstrate how the individual has lost touch with reality. Positive symptoms include delusions, hallucinations, disorganized thinking, and behavior. Delusions fall into several categories. Individuals with a persecutory delusion may believe they are being tormented, followed, tricked, or spied on. Individuals with a grandiose delusion may believe they have special powers. Individuals with a reference delusion may believe that passages in books, newspapers, television shows, song lyrics, or other environmental cues are directed toward them. In delusions of thought withdrawal or thought insertion, individuals believe others are reading their mind, their thoughts are being transmitted to others, or outside forces are imposing their thoughts or impulses on them. Hallucinations may include hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, or feeling as if they have been touched by things that are not there. Negative symptoms. Negative symptoms are those characterized that should be there but are lacking. Negative symptoms include apathy, lack of motivation, blunted affect, poverty of speech, anhedonia, and avoidance of relationships. 
Keep in mind that the inability to show emotion associated with a blunted affect does not reflect an inability to feel emotion. Similarly, it is helpful to understand that withdrawing from others is a coping mechanism for an individual with schizophrenia and not a rejection of those who initiate contact. Cognitive. Cognitive symptoms are a change in thought pattern and include poor decision making, loss of memory, distracted, difficulty focusing. Treatment for patients diagnosed with schizophrenia may include medications to control positive and or negative signs and symptoms and non-pharmacological interventions such as limit setting, 